sterling. It's three Celsius outside. But I wouldn't know it, because even without the diesel heater, it's 17 Celsius in the back of the van. So that's uh, 14 Celsius above ambient. And you combine that with a t-shirt and a thick duvet, I am proper cosy when it's three Celsius outside. And I've got the driver's window cracked open. <sighs> that was a great walk around Stirling last night and the Wallace Monument. But it's time to um, get over and have a look at Falkirk. Frog, Frog DXB, not his or her, or insert pronoun here, his real name, uh, says to go to the Kelpies, which I think are big horsey, metal horsey statues. Uh, okay. <sighs> Right, throw all this stuff in the back. Try not to attract too much attention from the locals. I think that moment is long gone. Oh, you're getting to see the whole show today. <laughs> you are blessed that you didn't realise how methodical this operation was until you've seen it for yourself. Uh, everything's stacked away nice and tidy. Let's see what food I've got. I might have bought last week oh. oh sardines excellent should have read this before I went to bed oh well I'm okay don't know what day it is though oh. magnificent I think I've been using the same wipe for like every single purpose for a little too long and uh, yeah, need a replacement. Oh, oh no, there's a couple of square centimeters there I can still use. Don't panic, Tam. This isn't mackerel. These are sardines in olive oil. Mm. And therefore, <laughs> not minging. Mm. All right, thank you, Sterling. That was amazing. Now on to Falkirk, England, Wales, and Ireland, and definitely the rest of the world would find unusual about Scotland is there are multi packs of Iron Brew in every shop, big and small. I mean, look at that. What are they? Twenty four packs. Ammonium, ferric, citrate, and quinine. That's actually good for you. Brewed in Scotland from Garders. Ah. This episode is not sponsored by Iron Brew Scotland. Three Mars bars for one pound. Not ideal. I'm coming to the end of my uh, doll money. In fact, right at the end. Not even enough left to fix the damned um, rear bearing. But don't panic, don't send any money in. 
got some more dole coming in uh, tomorrow. Oh <laughs> well, not much more. They've they've cut it by eighty pound a month. Nice. Anyway, Mars bar, <laughs> mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Gone. All right. Apparently, the kelpies are just up here. So there's some kind of an entrance fee, which normally I wouldn't pay. Frog DXB, not his, her, they, them's real name, gave me the money to <laughs> to do specifically this mission, so. <laughs> I always like to pick on the idiots that have uh, parked too close to my space and um, give them a hard time getting in. It's what they would have wanted. There's his driver's door. Nice little squeeze for him. Obviously don't want to inconvenience the person on the other side because they've done nothing wrong. But this twat can have everything he deserves, including my mirror being right in the way of the fool getting back in. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a foot well within my space but that here has four well only the space I left him barely a foot to open his door I don't forget to include the thickness of the door card which could be another four or five inches yeah yeah that's my good deed of the day <laughs> what I haven't <laughs> considered of course is rotational symmetry, namely that I've given myself exactly the same problem in getting out. Although the door has swung 14 inches now, I've only got a six inch gap to get my ass out of. So if that guy in there is, or woman, more likely, is any fatter than me, which in Scotland is likely, <laughs> they're gonna have an awful lot of trouble. <laughs> I am karma, incarnate. <laughs> okay, Frog, AXB, if that's your real name. Now, White Van Man 999. And I imagine Moishan slow as well. <laughs> Don't play games like this. But <laughs> one foot out. The other foot out. Mm -hmm. oh. Can't get my other foot on the ground yet, so I'm just gonna have to shimmy back on the gravel. No, oh. can't get my ass out. Cannot get my ass out of there. Well, not my ass and knob together. So I'm gonna have to uh, move to the left a bit. Turns out, no I don't. I have an even more devious cunning plan, is I've just moved my van a foot forwards, and that gives me the space to open the door, and then obviously get out. Ah oh, yes, that's just possible. And I haven't touched the guy's door. Whoa! Lock the van, but that's not where it ends. Oh no. Because 
I can just pull the van back there I'm proud of my achievement